Prime French's family. Check this out. We back. I apologize for the hiatus. Come here, Greg. I apologize for the hiatus, but we back. And I got a big, big announcement for this girl right here. Come here, Greg. Come in. So we've been waiting on her. And she is finally in season. Come on, Greg. Come on. In season. Look, let me show you. Come in. Come in. Look. See that? She sat down, but she is swelling a little bit, as you can see. And she is also bleeding from down here. But my girl is definitely in season right now. My girl's in season right now. Oh, let me show y'all that. Let me show y'all the diaper. Come on. I got her some diapers. And this is the one from today that she had on while I was gone. That's all her right there. So yes, queen gray, prime gray. My big girl, my big mama is in season. This is the girl that's going to Michael Phelps of uh, Big Stacks Frenchies. And yeah, man, we definitely excited, bro. Like it's finally about to jump off. It's my first Frenchie litter. Hopefully everything go well. And you know, I'm gonna show y'all how to do this the right way. The right way. We're good people at that. But we're going to go upstairs and we're going to talk about some other stuff. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all my girl while I was down here. First and foremost, man, I gotta apologize to y'all. I took a little hiatus. Um, really was chilling, but I should have pushed out some more content or something, said something to y'all about something. But uh, what happened is, let me go ahead and explain. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry for the people that enjoy my videos. I've been seeing y'all subscriptions. I've been seeing the views going crazy on some of my videos. And I just want to say thank y'all. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment. And as you can see in my comment section too, I talk to my people, man. Y'all got questions, I answer them, whatever. We gonna talk, we gonna chop it up, y'all family. But I'm sorry to y'all that I haven't posted in like a month, probably going on two. But I took a trip to Philly. I went and got a portrait tattoo of my mom. I'm gonna uh, make a video about that, but it's on my forearm right here. It's right here. Um, but also we was just waiting, man. Um, Prime Gray, as you seen in the beginning of this video, it's finally in season. She is good in the drum roll, caps, all this stuff, put some caps on here. But she is finally in season. Her cycle is on. She is about to be ready for her breeding to Michael Phelps from Big Stacks Frenchies. We are very excited over here. Um, we were expecting her to come in season around April. The latest was June is what we were expecting. But as you can see, what's today? It's July 24th, and she just came in season. So like I told y'all in like my first or second video, or maybe my, my most recent video, the DNA video, is that, man, you are playing with science. You are playing with nature. You are playing with God. You cannot predict what these animals are going to do, how they're going to do it, or when they're going to do it. So all you can do is be ready be able and stack your bread for when your dog is ready to uh, be bred or when she goes in season or whatever the case may be with your animals. Not just even breeding with anything with them. 
Um, it's a waiting game, and, and it's not up to you. You can't predict it. Um, so, yeah, she finally in season. Um, so, we have a to-do list. Now, I'm trying to make sure I'm ready because, like, y'all know I'm not an uh, experienced breeder. I'm not a backyard breeder, but I'm not an experienced breeder. So, I'm trying to make sure I'm ready. So, right now, she was on Be Strong, which I think helped her go into season. She was on Be Strong. It's a supplement that you put in their food. So, I had her on Be Strong um, and with folic acid, with a folic acid pill, five milligram uh, folic acid pill. Um, so, now that she's in season, she's now on puppy food with the folic acid pill and I still use uh, salmon oil and uh, also Oxymate. She's taking Oxymate as well. And all of that stuff is supposed to help with her reproductive system. It's supposed to um, prevent cleft palates in her uh, puppies. Um, just to make sure that she's healthy and make sure that she's gonna have healthy puppies for the community when they come out for y'all and for myself because I'm probably gonna keep a bunch of them. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. <laughs> probably gonna keep a bunch of them. Uh, but yeah, it's for her puppies and herself as well. Um, but let's talk about her um, being in season, man. She was real bitchy for like the last week. Like barking at everything, like restless, didn't want to sleep type of stuff. Like just, just being real bitchy, like snapping at the other dog or whatever. And I thought it was abnormal, but I'm like, man, whatever. Like she just being great. Like she queen, she the queen. So she just doing whatever she want. I'm letting her do, do whatever she want. But man, I go downstairs last night to warm up some food in the microwave and hit the corner and she look a little swollen. So I'm like, damn, this, this look more than like, you know, normal. And you know, this is my first time. So I'm like, damn, this don't look normal. Like this more than, she's swollen more than she usually is. So uh, I called her to me and I go back there to look, she dripping blood. I'm talking about overwhelmed with excitement, man. I'm ready to roll, bro. We ready to roll over here for real. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the stuff I got her on, and that's the update on her. Um, and you seen at the y'all seen at the beginning of the video, she right there right now laying down, breathing hard as always. But um, that's the stuff I got her on. She's gonna stay on puppy food until probably well after she has the puppies. Um. The next line of business, boom. The next line of business is the raffle. The raffle is still going on. Um, I'm over 100 subscribers on YouTube. Clap to me. I'm over 100 subscribers on YouTube right now. Um, but the 50 free slots are not filled. So the people that subscribe, and I don't know if they missed the first video, but please go and watch the first video for the information on the raffle for the free puppy off of this litter that's about to happen like you're going to be able to have a chance to win a free puppy off of this litter so go watch the first video um send me your subscription so i could put you in a raffle i only got uh two or three free slots left and then after that i'm i'm shutting down the free slots and then we're going to sell tickets so even the 50 people that got the free slots are going to be able to purchase tickets so you might want to get in there so you can, you know, get in on this breeding early because I'm telling you, they're going to go with the stud that I'm breeding her to. I, already, I showed it to y'all in the last video. The stud that I'm breeding her to, the structure that they're going to throw and the colors that they're going to throw. I'm telling y'all, y'all going to want to be in on this early. So getting on the raffle is still going. Um, I won't open the raffle for, per for the purchase of tickets until the puppies are here. So I make sure the puppies are here. They are healthy because I'm not going to sell or give anybody an unhealthy puppy. I, I will not do it. Um, I'm not going to be that type of breeder. I'm not going to start that stuff. Um, everything will be legit. It's not Nothing is going to be the quick and easy route or any of that. Um, the only reason I did the raffle is because, you know, I was trying to get people to bring traffic through my YouTube channel. And I really appreciate that. So I'm going to go through with that. Y'all are going to get this puppy, but I'm going to make sure that this puppy is healthy and um, that this puppy lives because those first two weeks of a puppy's life are crucial. So I wanna make sure that this puppy lives and that this puppy is healthy um, before I give it to somebody. So I will not open up the purchase of tickets until the puppy is physically on the ground and being whelped, okay? So this was the long game for the people that jump in. I had people 
subscribing to my YouTube way back in April, in May, in March. So I had people been subscribing to my YouTube, been waiting on this, and I'm telling y'all, y'all wait is almost over. We almost here. So that was that. The raffle is still going. That puppy still going out, and I appreciate y'all. That's how much I appreciate y'all. We still, we still gonna do this. Um, the next line of business is um. um All right, so the next line of business is what's next for her. And what's next for her is, like I said, the, I've been checking her every day since like April. So I know that she started bleeding yesterday, which was the 23rd and it was Saturday. So the next line of business is getting her progesterone testing. Um, I'm going to take her early and it's probably too early, but I'm going to take her Monday to get her first progesterone test to see where her levels are at. Um, this is important when you breed Frenchies because you don't want to miss those levels. The progesterone levels tell you when it's time to either do your artificial insemination, your AI, your TCI, or your surgical insemination. And they go in that order. Your AI will be done earlier in um, her ovulation. The TCI will be done a little bit later in the ovulation. And the surgical is done later than both of those during her ovulation. And she's getting a surgical. So, um... We're going to go Monday to the vet here locally in Baton Rouge, um, test her levels, see where she's at, um, listen to the vet's recommendations on when to bring her back for her second progesterone testing. Um, and also, I don't know, decide if I'm going to board her at the vet and let them test her more often or if I'm going to, you know, just take her to the vet every, you know, three or four days or whatever they recommend to make sure she's good. But I'm, I'm not gonna miss this breeding. Like I'm gonna spend that bread on those progesterone tests. Those progesterone tests are about $70 a test. So I'm not tripping on it though. I'm gonna spend that bread and make sure that we don't miss this breeding. Um, Cause this is the beginning of my camp right here. This is important. We can't miss this. We gotta hit this one on the head. We gotta hit it on the nail and we gotta roll with it. Um, after her progesterone levels and once we get, once she's at the level and who knows how long they could take. They could take anywhere from uh five days a standard week to two weeks they even some people had dogs that that been they go in heat for like a month and so who's to know how long that's going to take but usually usually by like the 15th day 10th to 15th day um people are doing their surgicals but that's with their dogs all uh, all dogs are different as you can see um her heat cycle didn't come back since our last one for, for nine months so, so most dogs come back in six months, but you know, all dogs are different, just like all humans are different. So you can't just go by one standard rule of thumb. So there's no telling when she'll be ready to breed, but we're going to be on top of that because we're not missing it. Um, after her progesterone testing and she's ready to do her surgical, that's when we're going to get Michael Phelps up here. That boy go crazy. I'm going to post a picture of him um, in front of me somewhere because uh, that boy go crazy, bro. Like I got to post a picture of him. That's what she getting bred to. Um, you know, me and Stax, we're going to link up. They're going to do what they got to do. Um, you know, pay the stud fee because I'm also a center stud. Uh, we're not using Chino. Chino is not old enough. Um, but, uh, yeah, link with him. We're going to do that. After they do that surgical, um, you know, you got to confirm pregnancy 60 days later. Um... 30 days it's 30 or 60 days i gotta i gotta check into that 30 or 60 days later you confirm pregnancy and then you know you just wait no she 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 has the puppy 60 days later you confirm pregnancy 30 days later or 20 something like that i don't know we'll look it up you know we're gonna get that right but um after that you know she has the puppies and then we get ready for the the whelping part of being a breeder um and i'm gonna take y'all on this whole journey and we're gonna pause right there in the journey because Monday when we go to the vet, I'm going to take y'all with me and, um, you know, we're going to hear what the vet got to say if they let me record it and then we're going to go from there. Um, last line of business. I didn't want this to be a very long video, but last line of business. Chino is doing really good. Chino is looking really good. I'm going to post a picture of Chino. Chino is looking really good. Chino's still in training. Well, he almost house. He got the house thing down. Um, but Chino looking really good. Um. I'm waiting on him to get about eight or nine months, maybe 10. I'm not sure how long I'm going to wait. Then I'm going to get his semen analyzed. 
make sure he's healthy get him another wellness exam uh make sure everything is good with him and then i'm gonna open him up for early stud um uh, i didn't do it now because you know you got to make sure your puppies are healthy man you don't want to be breed studying your dog out or breeding a female dog that have health issues um or anything like that man you want to make sure your dog is healthy you want to make sure your dog is well before you be out here just breeding a man like you got to make sure of that. So I had to make sure of that because, like I said, everything is going to be legit. Everything going to be real. And we're going to do this the right way. So, yeah, um, I'm going to open him up for early stud. Um, I don't think I'm going to do like a, a, a limited number of slots or anything like that. I'm going to open him up at a set price. And um, the price is going to be lower to begin with for people that's interested in, you know, um, his stud services. And, you know, as, as he grows, as he looks better, as he gets booked up, I'll increase the price. Um, so if you have a free female Frenchie and you want to lock him in, go ahead and do it. But he will be bred to one of her puppies when um, she has, if she has a couple of females. So it all depends on how many dogs she has, how many puppies she has, how many females she has, and how many of the puppies I keep. Remember, one of them is going to the raffle. So if she has seven, I only really have six because one of them is going to the raffle. So really, man, that's the last line of business. That's the update on Prime Frenchies. We got some more merch coming, man. We're going to get some hats out here. We're going to get some shirts out here. But um, I'm going to see y'all soon because I'm going to be dropping another video Monday after we leave the vet. We about to be rolling with it. Now, y'all, this is what I was waiting on. So, you know, watch the whole video. Like it comment subscribe you have any questions any recommendations anybody that you know may be interested in a puppy or anybody that you know that could help me or that's interested in french bulldog breeding man get them in contact with me um mention them down below send the video to them like like i said like i'm i'm going to communicate with y'all um i already have been man i talked to a lot of the people that subscribe to me on youtube and listen i would never call y'all fans i would never have fans Y'all my family, y'all my people, anything else but a fan. Y'all my people, y'all helping me because I ain't the most knowledgeable on this. I'm not the dumbest. I know some stuff, but I don't know everything. I'm still learning in the process. Y'all going to see it and y'all going to learn with me. But other than that, man, we're getting ready for this breeding. Finally, super excited. About to start setting up everything. Um, her whelping areas, all of that stuff. We about to get all of that together. Um... And yeah, man, that's it. So check back with us Monday. I'm about to go ahead and post this video tonight. So get back with me Monday and we're going to roll with it. See y'all later.